Okay. Hello, good evening. Welcome back to Cooking with Dad and M. I am Gabriel, and tonight we're going to be cooking something with a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's get started. Surprise, he says. He came up with that all by himself. I'm not sure what surprise he's talking about, but I guess we're all going to find out, right? Mm. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes, he says yes. Um, happy Tuesday. Welcome back. Um, weather's nicer. And um, so, yeah. I don't know what to talk about right now. Other than food. So let's get started. Let's talk about food. So that chicken that I made yesterday, the chicken with the waffles, that was a huge success. Um, we still got a lot of that chicken left over too. But, I mean, it was really good. Um, I love making that chicken. I mean, I like, I like how spicy it is. But... I mean, it was really good, and mixing it with the waffles and the syrup, mm, yummy. All right, so um, what we've got, we've done before. Um, it's been a few months since we've done it, but I think after doing the last spinach rolls that we did, the last lasagna rolls that we did uh, a couple of weeks ago, I wanted to do these because I was talking about these with Gabriel, and I thought these ones would be good to do as well. So... Excuse me, let's get to it. Oh, excuse me. So what we are doing is a spinach lasagna roll with roasted red bell pepper Alfredo sauce. So as you can see, we've got the lasagna rolls and they are covered in a red bell pepper Alfredo sauce stuffed with spinach and cheese and yummy goodness. All right, uh, so let's get to it and turn the stove off, please. Thank you. All right, so let's get to the list of ingredients and get to everything here. What we are going to need is going to be broken up into two parts here. First part is going to be your roasted red bell pepper Alfredo sauce. So you're going to need two red bell peppers, seeds removed in thick slices. So... What we've done here is we've already got the red bell peppers all sliced and roasted. So, bless you. Sorry. Thank you. It's all right. So, um, I just finished roasting the red bell peppers here like less than five minutes ago, right before I started the video. I just took these things out. So, these are all roasted, ready to go. I'm letting them cool down before I put them in the blender and get them all nice and pureed. All right, so uh, two bell peppers, red, pepper, red bell peppers, a tablespoon of oil, salt and pepper, quarter stick of butter, two cloves of garlic, one and a half cups of heavy cream, a cup of Parmesan. That's for the sauce. Now for the rolls itself, <clears throat> you're gonna need a package of lasagna noodles, a tablespoon of oil, a package of frozen spinach, a 24 ounce container of ricotta, a cup of Parmesan, a cup of mozzarella, an egg, salt and pepper. And then as far as the topping for this stuff goes, then you're going to need an additional cup of mozzarella. All right. Hey, Maddie. You came in just in time. You're going to like this one. This is right up your alley. This is all veggie. No meat on this one. You're going to like this one. All right. So... <laughs> so yeah, like I said, um, apparently Ma apparently Maddie likes this one as well. Um, if you are a uh, um, vegetarian and you don't really care too much for eating meat for whatever reason, you're a lifestyle vegetarian, um, this is perfect. There is no meat on this thing at all. And I mean, I re read the ingredients, you didn't see anything that contained meat. So, Maddie, there you go. <clears throat> All right. So, as we scroll down the steps, you're going to see pictures that go with each step. So, this is going to be a little lengthy. 
pick uh, in recipe wise. All right, preheat the oven to 425, arrange the bell pepper strips on a baking sheet lined with aluminum foil, drizzle the oil, drizzle over the oil, over the peppers, and season with salt and pepper to taste. Bake in the preheated oven for 20 or 25 minutes until tender and caramelized. Remove from the oven and allow to cool slightly. And this is what we've got right here. I just took these out of the oven before I started the video. Um, they are pretty cool right now, so we're gonna move on to the next step with these. Get my blender ready. Okay, my bad. Okay, uh, heat butter in a large pan over medium heat. Add in the garlic to the pan and stir until the garlic is fragrant. So let's go ahead Warm still. I gotta move some stuff, excuse me. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start making, we're gonna start making our sauce. So, we got our butter. Um, it says a quarter cup. Yeah. Having a brain for it, sorry. Bear with me. Old age is kicking in. A uh, quarter stick, a quarter stick of butter. Okay, so a quarter stick of butter is two out, two uh, two tablespoons of butter. So you see the the markers here: one, two, two tablespoons of butter. That's your quarter stick. Open that for me, please. Put that in there. And then we've got our lasagna noodles all cooking and well, pretty much ready to go. So we got those. I'm going to drain that here in a bit so they don't get too soggy. <clears throat> got our big container of garlic here. All right, so the butter is going to start melting here pretty soon. And we're just going to let that melt, and we're going to let the garlic mix in with this as well. We're going to let that start getting nice and aromatic. Now, it doesn't take long for the garlic to, the smell of the garlic to hit you. Um, it, it takes maybe about 30 seconds to a minute for the, the garlic to start cooking and for the smell of the garlic to really hit you. And that's not a bad thing. That smells really good. So once you start smelling the garlic, you can already start smelling it now, then you know it's ready to go and move on to the next step. Okay, so we're right there. Add the heavy cream, stir until combined, season with salt and pepper to taste. So we're gonna take our heavy cream. And said we need one and a half cups. <clears throat> okay, so this is a two cup container here. I'm just gonna pour it out and kind of guesstimate here what I figure the last half cup would be. Hmm. A little more. Okay, so that was about, give or take, one and a half cups of the heavy whipping cream. Okay, so what we've got in this pan right here, we're getting ready to make our sauce. So we're just getting the beginnings of the sauce going here. Uh, add the heavy cream, stir until combined. Please leave your keys. Uh, sorry, sports updates. Uh, add heavy cream, stir until combined, season with salt and pepper. Uh, says used a, he says or whoever did this recipe says they used about a half of a teaspoon so we're just gonna kind of season that a tad bit here a little sprinkle of garlic a little sprinkle of salt okay so we're gonna let that simmer for a bit <laughs> oh excuse me uh, add the parmesan cheese and stir 
Uh, continue stirring until the cheese is melted. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so that was for the, something else. Okay, so I need a cup of Parmesan, so we're gonna add half of that Parmesan into the sauce mix. <clears throat> okay, so here's our, here's our container of Parmesan. So we're gonna pour about half of this in here, give or take. That's good right there. And we're gonna let the Parmesan start melting. But we gotta continue to stir it so it doesn't burn. Add the Parmesan, continue, add the Parmesan cheese and stir, continue stirring until cheese is melted. Allow to simmer for about five minutes until reduced and thickened. Meanwhile, add the cooked cooled red peppers to a blender or a food processor and puree until smooth. Now comes the fun part. Okay, so we've got our red peppers. They're nice and cool right now. So I'm just gonna scoop them into the blender. Take that foil off and throw that away, please. Mm -hmm. Pan's not hot. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is we're just trying to get these peppers um, just blended down as much as possible into a nice thick puree. That way we can mix this in with the sauce. So, so we've got our red peppers in the blender. I'm going to go ahead and set this on low and hit puree. Okay, so we've got our red peppers blended into a nice, thick, somewhat thick, nice little very colorful orange-red mixture here. So we've got that step done. Uh, puree until smooth. Fold the red pepper puree into the thickened Alfredo sauce. Taste and season with salt pepper if needed, and then set aside. Oh, wow, it's getting cheesy. Yeah, go ahead and stir that a little more. You gotta let that thicken up. You gotta let that get thicker. Let the cheese melt some more. <clears throat> and then it's gonna start to get thicker. Once we get it thicker, then we're gonna pour the uh, red peppers in. Mm. Okay, so while we're waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and take care of some other stuff here. Um, I got to get my uh, lasagna noodles ready here. Okay, so lasagna noodles are all cooked, ready to go. Hold this for a second, please. Mm -hmm. Let me drain. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, now that these things are all nice and drained, I'm gonna go ahead and spread some of these out onto a cookie sheet so that way they don't get, uh, they, don't, they don't harden up too much. And once they harden up after they're drained, then they get um, a little harder to manage when it comes to rolling them. So I'm just gonna take some of these out and lay them 
on my cookie sheet like so and get them ready so that way when it comes to spreading out the mixture for the filling it just becomes easier i don't have to worry about um spreading them out they're already ready to go i just gotta scoop up the mixture and bam good Okay, so we're still waiting for the Parmesan to melt. Parmesan, the sauce here in the Parmesan is taking a little bit. So it should be getting thicker eventually. We hope. Right, Gabriel? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And also, I'm taking them out of the pan because I don't want these things to get stuck together either. Because if they get stuck together, then they're going to pull, when I pull them apart to try to get ready to roll them, then they're going to end up falling apart. And I don't want that to happen. So that's why I'm separating them like this. That way, I don't have to worry about them being pulled apart like that. So that's why it makes it a heck of a lot easier when you're doing... Uh, doing lasagna rolls in this way once you drain it just set them out so that way you don't have to worry about separating a little later on and then falling apart i mean at least don't go too easy on the sauce because i gotta make sure and save that for the rest so yeah um i find it's a lot easier to manage with the lasagna noodles after they're cooked to do it like this so that way they're easier to to work with Okay, so the sauce is getting somewhat thicker. We're just waiting for the cheese to start melting some. If it would hurry up and melt. So, I have my spinach already, uh, my spinach package uh, defrosted, ready to go. While we're waiting on that, while we're waiting on that sauce to get thick, I'm going to go ahead and start getting the filling ready. Okay, so all we have left to do with the sauce is wait for the sauce to get thicker and then mix the red pepper puree in there and just taste it and see what we think. All right, so we've got the noodles ready to go. That's done. Drain, set aside to cool. Okay. Add spinach to a kitchen towel. Squeeze out all of the moisture. Place the spinach in a large bowl. Add the ricotta, Parmesan cheese mozzarella, egg, salt, and pepper to taste uh, to the bowl, stir until combined. Okay. There we go. Now it's starting to get thicker. Now that cheese is melting. Okay. You can go ahead and put that away. Okay, so the, che the cheese is finally starting to melt. We're getting the simmer that we're looking for. So I'm going to turn the heat down just a tad while we get the rest of this going. And then I will add the pepper momentarily. Okay, so I'm just adding in the spinach to the bowl right now. It's got a scoop. Okay, spinach, um, give me that thing of ricotta, please. Open it? Yes. Oh. Ew. Okay. I know, I know. Here, take the plastic off of that one and I'll take care of this one. Good thing we have a fair. Yeah. Well, we need a lot for this anyway, so we're good. Mm. Okay. 
So we're going to pour the ricotta in. Okay, we get that one. Scoop it in here, please. All of it? Yes. Okay, so now we're getting the desired consistency for the sauce. All, all of that. As much of that as you can. Okay, so we're good with the sauce here. I'm gonna turn that heat down pretty low. And scoop out the rest of that one. Okay, so we're getting the rest of the filling. Ready? Okay, so while he's getting that, I'm gonna go ahead and take my red pepper puree, pour that in. Carefully. So do me a favor, scoop this. Mm -hmm. Here. Ow. I'm okay. Okay. Okay, that's good. Thank you. All right, so red pepper puree is in. I'm going to stir this, get this a nice orange color. Okay, so this is gonna be our sauce. The only thing we have left to do to this is just season it a little bit. Add a little bit of salt and pepper, but probably not very much because we're only gonna season just, just enough to, just to whatever we think, how it tastes. I should taste it before. I don't think it needs anything. Wanna taste this? Mm -hmm. Mm, wow. That's really good. Okay. So I'm not even going to season this. This sauce tastes perfect just the way it is. I'm not going to touch that. But um, it's up to you. Um, again, it is to your liking and whatever your taste is on the seasoning. Whether or not if you think it needs a salt and pepper, that is your choice. But I think that is fine just the way it is. All right. So... Okay, so we are right here. Okay, add spinach, chicken and towel. Uh, place spinach in a large bowl, add the ricotta, parmesan, mozzarella. Okay, so add the mozzarella, uh, add the par rest of the parmesan, please. Mm -hmm. Parmesan. All of it? All of it. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, oops. My bad, my bad. That was my fault, I didn't specify. It's okay. It's okay. We'll save it. No biggie. Okay, open that for me, please. Okay, so we're going to have a little bit of color to the filling. No biggie. No biggie. It's all good. That was my fault, not his. That was mine. I didn't specify. Okay, so once you get that, we're going to pour half of that into this mixture with the spinach. Probably a little, a little harder with the flakes, the flake parmesan, because you're going to have bigger chunks than you are with the grated parmesan, but I mean, really no biggie. There's my egg. Mix that in. Okay. Thank you. Half, half of that, please. Mm -hmm. 
scoop it out with your hand if you have to. Okay, I'm gonna stir this a little more. Let me see how much we got there. That's good. Go ahead and save that. Just put that off to the side. We're gonna need that for the topping. Here, hold this for a second, please. Okay, so that is our filling right there. All ready to go. Thank you. Okay, so we've got our filling, we've got our sauce, we've got our lasagna noodles ready to go. The only thing we have left to do now is just put this stuff together. All right. Once the lasagna noodles have cooled enough to handle, lay flat on a cutting board or flat surface, place a heaping tablespoon of the ricotta mixture on the lasagna noodle, just like so. Smooth the mixture across the noodle and roll it up with the remaining 19 noodles. Now, I don't know if I have 19. Five. Okay, maybe I do, maybe I don't. So, we're gonna make do with whatever amount of noodles that we have. It may not be the 19, 20 noodles that come in a typical package here, but we'll make it work. I mean, even if we have to make these things fatter than normal, which I think we might, it's okay. Five, nine. Oh yeah, we don't have 19. I think we got 15. Okay, never mind that. So, only thing we have, what we're, the next step is gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop out some of that filling Onto our lasagna noodles, so let's get started. A yeah, big scoop. That's good. Start there. <laughs> just start with that. Start with that. And then just spread it out from one side to the other. I remember making this. Yep, we did. Can you guys help? So I'm going to take over on the other side of the countertop here. I'm going to let him do that side, and I'm going to do this side. You think that's too much? Yeah, save some of that. Here, let me do, scoop it down. There. Now put that one on this one. I'm going to just spread it out like so, like this, front to back. Mm -hmm. Try to cover as much of the noodle as you can, just like that. Okay. You may have a lot extra, so don't worry about putting too much in there. If we make them a little fatter than usual, I'm okay with that. Because chances are we're going to have a lot of this stuff. And we may have a, a, quite a bit left over, so I'm not worried about overfilling them anyway. Okay. Sound good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so what we're doing right now is we are spreading the filling across the noodle. Okay, once the lasagna noodles have cooled enough to handle, lay one flat on a cutting board, place a heaping tablespoon of the ricotta mixture on the noodle, smooth the mixture across the noodle and roll it up and repeat with the remaining noodles. So, Depending on how many noodles you have total that are made for this thing, how many lasagna noodles you have, um, you know, just kind of guesstimate however much of the filling you want to put on there. Um, it says a heaping tablespoon. A heaping tablespoon is nowhere near exact. So, you know, just use your best judgment. Don't worry about making them fat because it really doesn't matter. Okay. 
Let me start rolling this one up. So I'm gonna, he's gonna go ahead. Go ahead and spread that one out. I'm gonna start rolling this one up and getting this one ready to go. Okay, so we've got our first lasagna ready to go. All right, so I'm going to skip to the next step. Okay, so we've got some of our rolls ready, one of our rolls ready to go. Spoon some of the red pepper, Alfredo sauce in the bottom of a large baking dish. Place the rolls on top of the sauce. So I've got my baking dish ready to go here. That, let's get some of the sauce in here. Oh, that is good. Oh my God, that is delicious. Oh, that is good, Gabriel. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That is good stuff. Yeah. There is no need to season that thing extra. I really did not see any need to add any salt and pepper to that because this is fine just the way it is. All right, I need something different. Okay, so spread it out. Now notice on the recipe, it doesn't say how much of the sauce to spread out onto the pan. Just get enough of the sauce on there so that you cover the surface of the pan, give or take. I mean, a little bit of little gap in there isn't gonna hurt. Okay, once you get some more of those things uh, filled up, start rolling some of them up. No, you can make room on that pan. Mm. Damn it. Okay, so we've got our sauce spread out on the pan. This tastes so good. Yes. All right. So it says to go ahead, uh, smooth the mixture across the noodle and roll it up. Okay, that's the rolling them up. Spoon some of the red bell pepper up front of the sauce into the bottom of a large baking dish. Place the rolls on top of the sauce. So you're gonna lay them on their sides. Now, if you guys remember the last video when we made the spinach lasagna rolls, we had them standing up, up top. We're not doing that this time. We're laying them flat on their side. So, Okay, watch this. Just like so. Just like that. There we go. That is all we're doing. We're just going to spoon spoon the sauce across the whole surface of the pan. We're going to get our lasagna rolls rolled up, and we're going to lay them flat on top of the sauce. And then once we're done with that, then we're going to spoon some more sauce on top of them. Sorry. Sorry. And then once you get some more space, then get some more of the lasagna noodles and put them on there and get some more of those rolls made. Okay. Mm Lay them with the seam, this, this end, mm -hmm. put that on the bottom. Oh, oops. No, it's okay. No big deal. That way it doesn't unfold. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now, so what I was just telling Gabriel there is that when you put your lasagna rolls in the pan, you want to put them with the seam side down underneath, or at least as close to the bottom as you can. So that way it doesn't just unfold. I mean, I don't think it's going to unfold. But it's probably, it's best that you do. I mean, it's not like it's a mandatory thing, but it's, it's best that you do. And just keep on, keep on rolling. Go ahead and start taking these ones. 
they're already cool by now. So just take them and then carefully t pull them apart. That's okay. Don't, don't worry about the edges. I'm not worried about the edges. I'm just worried about the main part of the noodle itself. Here, here, here. Just like that. Oh. Carefully. Shoot. Carefully. There you go. <sighs> I was afraid it was going to break apart. <clears throat> okay. See? This one kind of pulled this one kind of pulled apart a little bit. So, you got to be careful when you're pulling your lasagna noodles apart that make sure that you get them done and you get them take them out taken out as soon as possible because if you leave them in there they're going to get stuck together and they're going to be harder to work with once they once they're stuck to another noodle and you don't want that to happen because then you're going to end up with noodles that are falling apart or just plain a mess so once they're boiled drained and cooled get them out of the pan as soon as possible and start working them as quick as you can so that way they're easier to work with because you don't want to end up with a dysfunctional noodle like that one there so you see how it looks okay here near the top but then it's kind of pulled apart right there so that's why you got to try to get them done as soon as you can get them out of the pan and rolled up as soon as possible Okay, so oh, we're still doing pretty good in the filling. I mean, we may have quite a bit left over, but we're just gonna just spread it out. Oh, that's good filling. Okay, so we should. What we're, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to get this thing filled up as much as we can. You should have three lines of your rolls. Don't worry, don't worry about the edge if that comes off. I'm just worried about the middle of the noodle. So what we're trying to do is we're just trying to make sure we have a good three rows of noodles. Of our noodle rolls. Okay, now we're going to have to start spreading this stuff out, making this last. So don't fill them up too, too much. Okay. Because we got that noodle, and I got two more here. So we should have enough to make it last, but I'm just saying we're going to make it be a little little easy on it. Mm -hmm. Just spread what you have there. And just spread it out from the end to end, and then save the la what's left of this one until for the last noodle. Okay. Oh, sorry. All right, go ahead and get that last one. 
try to scoop out every last bit of that filling. Okay, so we've got one we've got one more noodle roll left, lasagna roll, ready to uh, just to finish up here. Um, once we get that done, the only thing we've got left to do is put some of the put the remaining sauce. Alfredo sauce topping on it, and then put some cheese, bake it. Ooh, I gotta preheat the oven. For the rest of the, okay. So as you can see, this one has the pictures of all the rolls set up on top of the sauce. Pour the rest of the sauce on top. Sprinkle the last cup of mozzarella on top. Lower the oven temperature of 400, bake the rolls cover for about 20 minutes and then uncover and bake for another 15. So I gotta preheat the oven to 400. Thank you. All done. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna scoop that on top. Okay, so we've got the oven preheated. We've got all of our noodles, noodle rolls on here i'm just kind of rearranging them a little bit all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to scoop the remaining bit of the sauce that we have here on top of this sprinkle our mozzarella on top of that and then bake it oh i need the foil please give me the foil mm. oh my god Ooh, that sauce is good. It doesn't have a whole lot of spice to it. I mean, let's get that ready. We're not gonna need that just yet. Just kinda measure it out. Just like that. Cut it. And we're not gonna put it in, put, put that on yet. Just get it ready. Okay, so like I said, the sauce, the sauce doesn't have a lot of heat to it. The only heat that it has to it is the stove hot. Other than that, the red peppers don't have a lot of heat to them. Um, they're not that hot at all, and especially mixed with the cheese and the heavy cream and the butter and all the rest of the stuff, it is not very hot. It's gonna be very good. It's gonna have a little bit of a sweet tang to it as well. Okay, so we're gonna get that ready. All right, so we're gonna pour the rest of the sauce on top of this now. Do, 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 do. All right, hold that, please. All right, that, okay, here goes the sauce. So just kind of spread it out as however you want. Just make sure you get all of your rolls covered here and spread it out just like so. Being that we didn't have the full 20 noodles that they had said, we're going to have a lot of sauce to go around here. Oh, that is good. Oh, that sauce. I want to taste it one last Sorry. I can't get enough of that sauce. Me neither. I can't get enough of that sauce. All right. So we've got the rest of our sauce spread out on top of this. You bought that spoon. Okay. I'm just spreading it out a little more. Doesn't have to be perfect, but. Open that for me, please. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the mozzarella, the rest of the mozzarella on top, wrap this up in foil, cook it for 20 minutes with the foil, 
after the cook time is done, then we're going to take the foil off, cook it for another 15 minutes without the foil. That way we can let the cheese on top uh, brown a little bit. So just sprinkle the mozzarella on top. Like so. <laughs> Little inside joke, my son and I. You really did. Yes, I did. Sorry. It's okay. It happens. <laughs> All right, oven is preheated and ready to go. Just kind of. Spread that out a little more. Oven is preheated and ready to go. Cover. Open. Okay. Eh. All right. So, again, wrap the foil. You're gonna cook it for 20 minutes with the foil and then an additional 15 without the foil. So a total of 40 minutes, give or take. Let me see, yeah. Uh, lower the temperature to 400, bake the rolls in a covered, rolls covered for about 20 minutes, uncover and bake for another 15 or so until lightly brown and bubbly. So I'm gonna set my timer on this thing for 20 minutes, 20 minutes with the foil, take the foil off, cook it for another 10 to 15 minutes or until you feel that it's ready to go. Um, it says until the cheese is brown and bubbly. So just use your best judgment on this 10 to 15 minutes and then we are done. I should have taken a before picture. Okay, so again, that is it. We are wrapped up. We're gonna get cleaned up here. Um, so I'm gonna let that finish. We should be ready to go just after eight o'clock, 8.15ish. So give me about half hour, 45 minutes. Uh, I will have a, have a finished picture for this and we're gonna dig in. But um, again, I'm gonna go over it real quick. Ooh, excuse me. All right, so spinach lasagna rolls with a roasted red bell pepper Alfredo sauce. There's a picture of them right there. I should have a finished picture of them when we are done in about 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, so um, this is broken up into two parts. You're gonna have your red bell pepper Alfredo sauce, which is gonna take two red, red bell peppers with your seeds removed and cut into thick slices, a tablespoon of canola oil, uh, salt and pepper, quarter stick of butter, two cloves of garlic, one and a half cups heavy cream, one cup of Parmesan. That's for the sauce. Now for your rolls itself, you're going to take a package of lasagna noodles, tablespoon of oil, a package of frozen spinach, a 24 ounce container of ricotta, a cup of Parmesan, a cup of mozzarella, uh, one egg, and salt and pepper, and then you're gonna to top it with an additional cup of mozzarella. So all in all, you're gonna need about two cups of Parmesan and then two cups of mozzarella. So just get you two full containers of each and you're gonna be using both of them for this thing. And then after you are done, then you will end up with that. Well, not that, that's before, okay, that. That's what they should come out looking like when we are done. So we are hoping, and actually, I'm confident that they will come out looking like that. I've made this a few times before, 
and this has come out really, really good. Um, so I'm very confident that they will come out tasting pretty good. I mean, that sauce by itself was like, oh my God. Yes. And I didn't need to season that sauce any more than what it already was. It said to add salt and pepper to taste. I didn't need to add a damn thing to that once I added the red, red pepper, pepper puree in there. It tasted fine just the way it was. But um, you guys know best on how you want to do it. Um, <clears throat> and again, if you are a vegetarian, this is right up your alley. Um, Maddie, I know you're a vegetarian, so this is perfect for you. Um, uh, again, there is no meat in this. But... I mean, that doesn't mean it's going to be a bad dish. I mean, hell, we did the lasagna rolls a couple of weeks ago that didn't have any meat in them either. They had they had mushrooms, they had spinach, almost the same stuff. Almost the same stuff. The only thing that was really different is that I didn't have the red peppers and this the last ones had mushrooms in it in the in the filling. And those ones came out really good, right, Gabriel? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Gabriel like Gabriel and I really love those mushroom rolls that we did a couple weeks ago. And these ones, I know these ones are gonna come out just as good. I already know it, cause that sauce is. <clears throat> okay, enough talking. I'm gonna let that cook. I will see you in about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, so I will talk to you soon. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I should have another video tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not, depending on how much leftovers we got. I know we've got a lot. Um, either way, I will see you sometime soon. If not tomorrow, Thursday. Have a good night. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye, Felicia.